Hey, welcome again. Welcome or welcome back. Now, I'm gonna ask you, have you ever thought about the letters and numbers that occurs on your signal bar? You know, the E, H, H+, 3G, 4G? Well, let me tell you something about this context of mobile internet technologies. Let's say gone are the days when mobile phones are used for just phone calls because with our smartphones, we can surf the internet. And that, the speed of the internet varies with the country. We all know that, right? So, depende sa progress ng telcom or telecommunication company nyo, sa country nyo. Anyway, if you want to know more about that internet speed, you know, when you hear download, upload speed, and ping, click the card above. Now, the strength of the internet signal in your Android smartphones are shown in alphabets. You have seen that when you turn on your mobile data, you see either H, H+, 4G, 3G, or 4G, Depende sa location mo, kung malakas ba yung signal strength niya. Now, I know that for once in your life, you've wondered what are the meaning of those 4G, H+, 2G things and such. Well, you're lucky because we will stop the wondering and put some answers to that. What is the meaning of E in mobile signal? Let's start with that. E stands for edge, as in E-D-G-E, meaning enhanced data rates for GSM, or also known as enhanced GPRS. This technology is between 2G and 3G. So, taking the average of that, 2 plus 3 equals 5 divided by 2, that would be 2.5G. That's why some people call it 2.5G. Well, we know that e-signal is not enough to browse the internet, right? Because the speed or data rate is only between 400 kilobit per second to 1 megabit per second. Kasi, kailangan mo ng speed of 5 to 10 Mbps megabyte per second when just using basic web surfing or email. In the e-signal, 1 megabyte per second lang ang naaabot niya. If you've seen my internet speed video, I emphasize that megabit or megabyte and kilobit or kilobyte are two different values so I'm not going to to go through that again because this is another video with another subject so going back we've done the e-signal what about the 3G mobile signal 3G means the third generation of mobile telephone technology so the G stands for generation you know, the 3G up to 5G series. That's 4G generation, the 4th generation, the 5th generation, the 3rd generation, and the 2G generation. Typically, 3G provides data speed of 384 kilobit per second to 42 megabit per second. That's 40 times faster than the E signal. You can easily browse websites and mag stream ng music. Now let's come to H mobile signal. H stands for HSPE, meaning high speed pocket access. 
This is the enhanced form of 3G technology. Or you could say H is the older sibling of 3G. So, H technology provides higher data transfer than 3G technology. Speed or data rates would be 14 megabit per second for downlink and 5.76 megabit per second for uplink for the H mobile signal technology. Downlink and uplink is also called upload and download. So, don't be confused about that. It's just, it's basically communication between your phone and a cell tower. Downlink is the signal from cell tower to your cell phone. Uplink is the signal from your cell phone and going back to a cell tower. And let's proceed to H+. This is obviously much better than H signal because this is the enhanced version of it. It makes downloading and streaming much smoother. But it would not beat a 4G signal. Besides, you're lucky to have it. You are using the fastest mobile internet connection available. I, I know, I know that 5G would be the best, but we're not there yet. Not there yet, at least. Yeah. 4G is the fourth generation of mobile technology. So, we are now we are now in 4G technology. We're done with E, H, and H+. So, what is this 4G? Well, I as I have said, it's the fourth generation of mobile technology. It is also called LTE. Yep. That's right. It's also called LTE or long-term evolution. 4G connection is as good as Wi-Fi connection. Meaning, you can do everything on your cell phone the same things with what you can do on your laptop or desktop. Also, you see in the signal bar. Now, this is a bonus tip because I've done telling you about the meaning of E, H, H+, and 4G or LTE. This is a bonus tip just so you'll be committed in this channel. I mean, you know, subscribe. So, subscribe to my channel and let's see, let's see each other from time to time. You know, yeah, that's it. So, this is it. You see in the signal bar as you turn on your mobile data, you see some arrows, right? Yung dalawang arrows that is highlighted. It goes up and it goes down. Meaning yan, may nagaganap na data transfer. It means your internet connection is properly working. War King. Yeah, that's right. So, stay with me, alright? Stay with me. Just a little longer. Because I'm gonna answer two frequently asked questions that is relevant to our subject in this video. This was asked by my acquaintance on Facebook. Here it is. Pwede ko bang ilagay ang 4G na SIM sa 2G na phone? The answer is yes. Any SIM will work in any device. May it be 2G, 3G, or 4G. Still, it will work in any device. You can use a 4G SIM in a 3G or 2G phone or a 2G or 3G SIM card in a 4G phone. Anything is possible. Still working pa rin ba ang 1G na phone ngayon? Ang 1G na technology uses standard called EMPS or Advanced Mobile Phone System. And this standard has been permanently discontinued in most countries. So therefore, 
Therefore, old 1G devices no longer work. Guys, I would love to tell you about 5G technology because this is a this is a very good topic, but this technology kasi has a big world of its own. So, I would make a different video for that. So, click the end screen at the end of this video and come with me. And I'll tell you all you need to know about 5G technology, including its conspiracy theories. So, that's it for now. I'll be expecting you on the next video and have a good day.